my neighbor, my friend and neighbor, Don Ullman. Don, get up here. Don's a great entertainer. Uh, I want to tell you a story about Don, though. Was, we were walking down the street. We live in, He lives in Burbank. I live in Pasco. And I saw him in town the other day. And he was walking down the street leading this... He had this little dachshund dog on a leash. And I said, Don, I said, that, I've never seen a cow dog like that before. What are you doing with a dachshund? And what did you tell me? I said, Keith, I thought you told me get a long little doggy. <laughs> Don Olman. One of them wiener dogs here. Thank you very much, folks. I'd like to say I'm real proud to be a member of the Columbia River Cowboys Poets Club. And uh, I would like to invite everyone. I had the proud opportunity one time, I think about 19, 2003, I went to, uh, to uh, Plentywood, Montana. And there was a great actor by the name of George Montgomery in a lot of movies that he, he made, but he was also a sculptor. He did lots of good sculptures. So he sculptured a eight foot high tall uh, sculpture of uh, portraying himself in the movie High Noon. And they unveiled it, and I got the sink for his unveiling there in Plentywood, Montana. It's right in Town Square, so if you're ever in Plentywood, Montana, this cowboy that he sculptured not only represents the old western cowboys, but also the rodeo cowboys, the auctioneers, and anybody who likes western wear, the shooters, and all this. It represents all his western cowboys. So if you ever get a chance, go to Plentywood, Montana, and see George Montgomery's great statue. I'd like to start off with five, and get ten, ten, and get fifteen, and get twenty, twenty, get twenty, twenty, get twenty-five, and now thirty. See, when I went to school, I was real good in numbers. See, but the spelling and all that—I never thought I'd ever be a cowboy poet because I had a real rough time with English. Number one, I couldn't understand the silent language, silent letters. See, like Philip, Phil. It should start with F, I would think, but PH or Tsunami. That's a real dandy. Tsunami starts with a T. I just hated these, and not, and no, start with K instead of N. It's kind of like an English class I'm giving you here. But I had a friend one time, his whole name was spelled with silent letters. And every time I went to call him, I'd go. It was kind of embarrassing. Okay, now I'm going to do a little song here that is kind of in acapella. The American Idol, if I don't know if you ever watched that show, they do all their songs in acapella now. No tracks or anything anymore. So I'm going to try one of them. So, okay. Okay, five, we get ten, ten, we get fifteen, we get twenty. There was a boy from Arkansas who wouldn't listen to his mom. She told him that he should go to school. He'd sneak away in the afternoon, take a little walk, and pretty soon you'd find him at that local auction barn. Oh, he'd stand and listen carefully. Then pretty soon he began to see how the auctioneer could talk so rapidly. He said, oh my, it's do or die. I've got to learn that auction car. i got to make mark, be an auctioneer. $25 bid now, $30, $30 bid, $30, make a $30 bid, mama, $30, would you bid a $30, Arr, bid a $30 bid. Well, $30 bid now, $35, would you bid a $35, make a $35, $35 bid, a $30, would you bid a $35 bid. Well, as time went on, he did his best. All could see he didn't jest. He practiced calling bid both night and day. You'd have to find him round the barn, just working up an awful storm as he tried to imitate that auctioneer. Then his pap said, son, I just can't stand to have a mediocre man sell things at auction. Using our good name, I'll send you off to auction school. Then you be nobody's fool. You can take your place among the best. Well, $35 bid, $40, $40 bid, $40, make a $40 bid, $40, would you bid a $40, hard bid, $40 bid, yeah. Well, $40 bid, another $45, would you bid a $45, make it a $45, $45. And I sold that hawk for a $45 bid. Okay, boys, bring me and say what I'm going to bid for. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 45, and 50, 50, 50, 45, now 50. 50, 50, 50, 50, 55, and 60. Now I'm going to give you an a auctioneer's lesson. Uh, it's real easy to become an auctioneer. A lot of people say, how do you do that, you know? You go to auctioneer school in Billings, Montana, like I did, or you can get a whole bunch of marbles <laughs> down to 5 and 10 cent store. You take these marbles, you stick them in your mouth, as many as you can, until they're stretched, your mouth's all stretched out. And then you try to talk real fast. And when you lose all your marbles, you become an auctioneer. <laughs> or a flag person like up here in the front, Jim. How you doing, Jim? <laughs> okay, let's see. I'd like to do another. Oh, there's a friend of mine. He was a cowboy from Montana. His name was Ole, see? And Ole robbed the bank, see? And so the sheriff caught him and said, Ole, we know you robbed the bank. 
we want you to tell us what you did with the money. He said, well, uh, I'm not going to tell you. He didn't say that. He just sat there. See, so the sheriff says, Ole, if you don't tell me where the money is, I'm going to shoot you right where you sit. And the deputy said, oh, sheriff, Ole can't understand a word you're saying. He's only know how to talk, talk Swedish. He's Swede, see. So you better go get Lars and have him be an impersonator for I mean, interpreter for you. So they went and got Lars. And they said, Lars, you tell Ole that if he don't tell us where he buried that money, we're going to shoot him right where he sits. So Lars says, Ole, the sheriff knows you robbed the bank. And we'd like to know where you hid the money. And he says that if you don't tell him where he hid the money, then he's going to shoot you right where you where sit. So Ole says, he tells Lars, he says, well, Lars, he says, you go behind the livery stable. You'll see a, a post right out there in the middle of the livery stable. He says, go 10 pesos past that post. Dig down about two foot. You'll find the money. So Lars looks at the sheriff and says, Sheriff, Ole says, go ahead and shoot him. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for coming to the Ellensburg Cowboy Gala Gathering. Thank you very much. I'd like to say if you ever get a chance, go to Montana. Go to Plenty One, Montana and see George Montgomery's statue of the big cow, eight foot high tall cowboy. Thank you very much.